First of all, every tax increase we pass, you pay. So you're part of that taxpayer base that I'm concerned about. We're in a recession. We're losing more jobs in Bartlesville. We just had another business announce that it's closing. All over this state, we have been in a recession for several years, which was tempered by the uh, strength of the energy industry after the national recession began. In fact, the highest number of dollars donate, uh, devoted to common education uh, was in 2009. And uh, that, was, that was high mark, and it has gone down some since then. Um, so I'm fiscal conservative, and I believe that as this recession bottoms out and we get, we get better, things get better, that um, taxing our people now is not, not a good idea. We assume that everybody will keep the same behavior. You will raise their taxes and they will continue to behave as they are now, so you can just add whatever revenue you get now, add that percentage on there, and you're gonna get that much more, but that's not the way human behavior works. Um, people who lose their job, as Representative Sears said, you know, they're not paying income tax, they cut back on their, uh, on their spending. Um, so anyway, the practical part of this for me is um, I voted to remove the trigger on the income tax reduction. That was not an easy decision. That was my concession to raising taxes. Because now our state income tax rate will not go down further without the vote of the legislature, which will be difficult to achieve. So I did that so that we could have this stability in the rate and not be concerned about an increase in revenue dropping the rate further. But I'm glad that Representative Sears or Representative Dunlap pointed out that for every year that we've lowered the tax rate, we have generated more revenue to the state because people have more money in their pockets. Um, I will consider and be thinking about the uh, itemized deduction. And the only reason I would consider that is because it would hit me. Um, but I'm not prepared to support any other tax increases. We are, the uh, Federal Reserve reported to the Senate caucus this week that we are, we are coming out of this recession. Things are looking good. The uh, second most active oil and gas production in the United States is in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, that doesn't mean $100 barrel of oil anymore, but it means a whole lot more jobs are gonna come back. We need to continue to diversify our economy. Uh, the aerospace, aerospace industry is, is hugely important in that regard. And uh, we need to continue to look at savings in government. I'm running audit bills uh, for the Department of Education and Career Tech. I had another one for higher ed. We pulled that because they're being audited in another way this year as far as the Oklahoma Promise program, I think. Uh, Representative Sears is uh, co-authoring those with me because your government is spending over $20 billion a year. And I honestly believe that you can constantly be looking for efficiencies and ways to maximize Resources. I commend what the Bartlesville Public School District has done. In the 21st century, education has changed. You need more revenue and resources devoted to these STEM things. When I was in school, IT was the audio-visual guy who rolled the little film cart, you know, the camera cart down the hallway. It is so different now. And so that competition for your resources means you have to constantly be looking at doing things in new and different ways. And I think that uh, is true of all state agencies because we've got a very complex, expensive uh, government system and uh, just as I believe when I served on the city council, uh, you need to go through department by department all the time looking for savings. Business people audit themselves all the time looking for those bottom line savings. It's not quite that way in government, but as healthcare costs go up, as the demands on our dollars, even at the uh, government level go up, the obligations we have to follow mandates, uh, we have to maximize resources, so I, I still think that uh, reforming, realigning, and uh, reducing government spending uh, could yield more money for education and other things.